Hey, what's up, guys? This is Dean again. Um, today I'm going to show you how to get to Wi Fi Tether, an Android phone, to a Kindle Fire. People have had a lot of trouble doing this because the Kindle Fire will only accept, will not accept ad hoc signals or networks. And when you tether, typically when you tether an Android phone, it produces an ad hoc signal instead of an infrastructure network. This will see infrastructure, so just like a normal Wi-Fi, but not what this produces. So what we have to do is get our phone to produce an infrastructure signal, and I'm going to show you how to do that today. This will be for Wi-Fi tethering, so you can use your phone's 3G network to, to get internet on your Kindle Fire. Now, what I'm going to show you will only... As far as I know, it works on the... This is a Huawei Ascend 2 through Cricut Mobile. It's running Gingerbread 2.3. It should work on other 2.3 Gingerbread, but I'm not sure. I've only done it on this particular phone. <clears throat> what you need to do is, first off, obviously you have to root your phone. There's thousands of ways to root... I mean, there's thousands of videos on the internet of how to root this phone. Just follow those. If you have updated to 2.3.5, you'll have to downgrade to 2.3.3 to root this phone through most of the ways that people show you how to do it. Root the phone. I'm not going to go over that. It's rooted. Okay. What you're going to need to do is download ES File Explorer. It is free. Open ES File Explorer. It'll probably look like this. Um, my camera sucks, so you can't really... It doesn't focus. Sorry. But just listen to what I'm saying, and you can kind of see what I'm doing. Go to Settings inside ES File Explorer. Make sure, down here at the bottom, that under Root Settings, you have Root Explorer checked and Mount File System checked. Check both those. Okay. Now come back here you're gonna try and find a folder called system if you can't find it which I couldn't click on this star at the top right corner and instead of going home select phone that'll take you to these other folders you can't find these by searching you have to do it that way find the folder labeled system select system down at the bottom there will be a file called buildprop.bak buildprop open buildprop open it in whatever um, editor you have ES note editor is what comes with stuff so just use ES note editor scroll down almost to the bottom Keep scrolling until you see something that says gingerbread end. The first line of code after gingerbread end is a file called is a code that says ro.tether.denied equals true. You want to change that to equal false. So all you're going to do, I'm not doing it because I've already done it. So under that file, it say equals false. Then go to settings, save, and reboot your phone. Once your phone is rebooted, you'll come into your phone, and you'll go to your settings, wireless networks, and all of a sudden you have this new thing down at the bottom, or not at the very bottom, but right under Bluetooth settings, you'll have a thing called a new s s thing, a new option called tethering and portable hotspots. Select tethering and portable 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 hotspots, and that's all that there was to it. That's all you had to do to get it to produce an infrastructure network. If you 
beforehand you didn't have that tethering in portable hotspots. Collect portable Wi-Fi hot select portable Wi-Fi hotspot and it turns it on. And right now we are tethering an infrastructure signal from this Wowie Ascend 2 running Gingerbread 2.3. You can go in and set up a password under the hotspot settings. So now we're tethering. Let's see if it'll actually work on the infamous Kindle Fire. Wake up our Kindle Fire. Go here. Oh, it's already connecting to it automatically. But you go here, select Wi-Fi, and it will show up as D. It keeps asking me. Okay, that's one weird thing about it. It'll show up as DIY phone gadgets. Connect to it, and it will say you need to sign in. The thing that's weird is when it says you need to sign in, it just takes you to Amazon's space. So I just hit cancel, or you can sign in. Either way will work. So we're connected to it. I have a password on mine. Connected. And now we are on that network. You can see up here it has that little X by your Wi-Fi, which means usually means you don't actually have your Wi-Fi. But in this case, it works. So now I'm on Wi-Fi. Let's go ahead and open up Facebook. And this is running the internet through my phone. And Facebook loads pretty quick. And that's all there is to it. Root your phone, find that system's file, find that build prop, change that ro.tether denied to false, save it, reboot your phone, and you're set. Thanks. Have fun. Um, I'm not like most people. I don't tell you to subscribe or rate or any of that crap. You can, you can do whatever the hell you want. All right. See you later.